Whoa! And in that video log, we saw Kine inadvertently murder the captain of the ship. Remember Dr. Kine? We heard we read about him in some uh, text logs, and we heard about him in some audio logs from Dr. Mercer earlier in the game. Dr. Kine's our mad scientist. Dr. Mercer's our evil scientist. Got a safe station there if you want to pick that up. What is this? Schematic for the contact beam. I can't even carry it. Doesn't matter, I don't ever use the contact beam. SS storage A. Oh, okay. Anything useful in here? You're alive, aren't you? I can tell. He didn't look dead. Well, as far as I didn't get any cool dramatic music when he popped up. I guess I guess we don't warrant that anymore. Hey, save this recharge. That's, I'll take that for free. Anytime you see one of those, go ahead and fill back up. It doesn't cost you anything. Alright, well, there wasn't a whole lot in there, was there? I still can't carry the contact beam schematic. Maybe I'll have room on the way back. Some of the gravity plating is malfunctioning. Keep an eye out for any kind of distortion effect coming from the floor. It could be dangerous. It is dangerous. As uh, we can tell from this enemy that runs around the corner here and goes right into it. Thus destroying himself pretty effectively. You're gonna want to avoid those little spots. Hey, dude, come here. Now check this out. You need stasis on him, and then put a back. Oh shit! Don't back up, back up, Isaac. Back up now, and sort of bash them into them like that, and then they get sucked up inside it. See? And then he goes up to the ceiling and gets splattered pretty good. It's fun. It's not necessary though. You can always just shoot him. Dude, get away from me. You are far too close. Wow. Getting that, getting him getting that close to me meant that, meant that I was in a good bit of danger from him grabbing me, but it also meant that I could hit both of his tentacles at the same time, which made him go down a lot faster. Go ahead and grab this. Yeah, and here they make a guy come up behind you, which I don't know why, he's not really threatening at all. He has to get around a bunch of different things before he can actually get to you. Three, four... Yeah, I missed that first shot. I hit the wrong leg, I think. He's dead, isn't he? Yeah, he's just a corpse now. Of course, they really all, all they are is just corpses. They're just sort of reanimated corpses, you know? It's kind of how necromorphism works. Necromorphisis? Oh shit, that startled me, man. I forgot that they were there. Gotta reload. Shit. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose this guy. He's gonna move on me, isn't he? Alright, he's too close to me, dude. Yeah, there you go. Stand over there. Back up. I see what you're trying to do. Get the fuck away from me. He's too close at that point. There's no way I could wait for him to let his tentacles back out. If I had, he would have just grabbed me. And I wasn't going to turn and run, because that's never a good idea against the lurkers. They tend to chase you pretty efficiently and get a hold of you without much trouble. Anyway, here you want to grab these things and toss them out of the way. So we're about to get into another fight with another one of these big guys. I'll put an annotation on here, I think, if I can remember to, of what they're actually called. This guy is just going to come smashing through all this shit. So you stasis on him and get behind him. And start unloading on his legs. You've upgraded your uh, speed for your plasma cutter. It'll help you out here because you'll be able to fire on his legs more quickly. So he won't be able to turn around as much when you're fighting him. Here, I don't know if I'll be able to see his leg or not. I will. Awesome. There's one. It took me a full three flips to get that first leg through. And now I can't get behind him because there's too much junk in the way. Alright, get over here, dude. Oh, shit, don't be doing that. Dude, he's doing some thing where he fires the crap out of his stomach. Anyway, I'm going to zip back out here and grab some more stasis and then get back into the fight here. If I can sneak around behind him a little bit. Oh, dude, I managed to stasis the ball, but it still hit me. Try to get around behind him again. Dude, would you please just sit still? Just stasis as much as you need to. You can always back up and go grab that stuff in that hallway out there. Dude, are you freaking kidding me? Alright, he's going into his little ball mode. Which doesn't help him at all, since all I have to do is walk around behind him and I can hurt him. There we go, we got both legs, he's done. He's down for the count, my friends. And we get a power node for beating him. Awesome. Love that. Alright, well the ammo I spent there should have cleared up a spot or two in the inventory, so maybe we'll be able to pick up that contact beam schematic on the way back. Now here you want to wait until these things fly to the left side. Both of them fly over to the left. Just gotta wait, and then boom! Say something right then when they're there. Run over here and push the A button. Activate... You, re you basically rerouting, rerouting power to the ADS. And then you can, uh... I'm making some progress with the tracking grid. One of the cannons is giving me a hard time. Keep moving. Yep. So basically we just do that. That's all there is to it. Go ahead and get some stasis before we leave here. 
again, no reason not to. You can go ahead and fill up on those, uh, fill up on it every time you go past one of those things. It takes a little while for them to recharge, but the time that it takes to fight that guy is more than enough for it to recharge, I for yes, so. Not a whole lot of trouble there. Alright, well that first bit wasn't bad at all. We're headed now to the second cannon. I don't remember if there's any busted spots in this hallway or not, but I'll be on the lookout. Are we gonna get a tall guy here? No, it's just a limping guy. Okay. We still don't have to the contact beam. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. It's too close. Hit the right leg, didn't I? Dude, get away from me, man. So I don't have room for that thing, huh? What am I carrying that I can drop? I mean... Level 3 scoot somatic? I'm not dropping that. Flame fuel. 75 rounds of flame fuel. And we'll grab the schematic, it doesn't matter. I like to have as many of those at the store as I can, just in case I ever want to actually, like, use that gun. You know, just for the shittles. Or for actual, like, gameplay, if I ever want to just show you guys that weapon. Anyway, we use this cargo lift, and it'll take us back up to the main bridge area. And then we're actually going to have to run around and use a different elevator to go to the other two uh, junction boxes, which... Sadly, are not quite as easy as that one was, but I still can't remember the name of those big guys, and I really wish I could. Hmm. Oh, dude, I just... a behemoth, maybe? That sounds right. That sounds close. At the very least, it's close. I'm trying to think now. Like, it, basically, they're like a multitude of corpses, like, stuck together to make one giant... Oh, shoot. Yeah, this is the part where these guys come out, and this is not fun, believe me, because you got more than enough of these guys coming at you at one time here. They can be pretty nasty. I recommend tossing a stasis or two out there, chopping off some limbs with their slow-mo. They give you a good advantage. There's two of them down right there. Oh shit, maybe not. Damn, dude, I thought I had him. Screw you. Chop him right in the arms. Shit, his buddy dropped down right where, his, right where they were. I thought he was dead. I thought it was a corpse. Sit still. I'm trying to kill your buddy over here. One, two. Look at the arms. There we go. There's two more down. And like I say, stasis. Stasis will save your life against these guys, man. If you had to do this without stasis, it would be awful. Trust me. They get all up on your ass and there's hardly any way to slow them down. I'm out of ammo. Oh my god. I second there, I thought I'd run out of ammo entirely, because it took him a second to start reloading. Is that it? You gonna lift my quarantine now? We don't have any more hiding around, do we? It might be it. If it isn't, they'll be waiting for us when we come back, so... Let's go ahead and get a move on. We're gonna go down first, it looks like, in this elevator. You gotta select the floor once you get in, so... Don't just start hammering away at the A button. Isaac, listen up. I've gone over the MedSci reports. These things are biorecombinators. They take dead tissue, absorb it, and mold it into new forms. One iteration seems to have the sole purpose of infecting corpses. The others... well, seem to be making corpses to infect. And that body tissue we keep seeing on the walls is part of it, too. I found a report that says it's a habitat changer. Yeah, so apparently that's what they, how they work, although I don't know if that doesn't, that doesn't fully explain that a great number of corpses that, that, we've, that we've seen get infected. Just because, uh... We haven't, uh... I hear little guys. I don't like that. Where are they? 